Hello and welcome to No So Entertainment, your home for all things wrestling. Guys, do you remember when Hogan faced Goldberg? Remember when Degeneration X invaded WCW? Yeah, those were on Raw and Nitro. We covered both of those on the Monday Night War stories. But how about that time Buff Bagwell broke his neck? We're trying to pub the Thundercast, and you want to highlight the Thunder where Buff Bagwell broke his neck? Um, I wasn't even alive for any of that. So how about we talk about some more modern wrestling, like NXT or AEW? Of course. We cover all current wrestling on the No Cell podcast. All of these are fantastic guys, but arguably the most iconic moment in history is when Hulk Hogan turned heel and joined the NWO. We covered it on the pay-per-view war stories. You can hear Nothing? all that and more at really? NoSoEntertainment.com and anywhere you get your podcast. This is the All-American Ron Simmons, and you're listening to Casio's Cut. Damn! What's up, Candy Lickers? Pleased to meet you. Nice to know me. What you doing? You listening to another edition of Casio's Cut. And I'm your host, Cassio. This is my absolutely smoking hot wife, Big Booty Judy. Hey, hey, hey. She loves looking at herself at the screen and not the camera every <laughs> single time. <laughs> I wasn't looking at this time. You can't, like, I was Look at looking you. at you. Look at yourself. Just now, and now I'm looking at you. You're looking at me? Yes, I'm looking it at looks you. Like you're looking at you. Looking at you. All right, we are rocking and rolling. This is another P.O. Box episode. So we want to say, first off, thank you for listening, thank you for watching, and thank you for sending everything in. It is always, it's it's a roller coaster, every P.O. box. Oh yeah, ever since the roaches, I am scared. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what we're getting. Roaches, glitter bombs, uh, a lot of phallic symbols. Oh yeah, we have so many phallic things around the house now. You have to explain <laughs> that to our niece, and we told... Our niece, like this micro penis pillow, was a blobfish. A blobfish. <laughs> yeah, and she was cuddled up on it. So that was awkward. <laughs> All right. So, but she did look at blobfish, and it, yeah, and, and it, it, looks, it did. It, it, looks, it got us through the weekend. Yeah. It's very similar. Uh, so we got some pack one, two, three, four, five, six. I think we got seven packages uh, this time. I also want to show off it, this week. My gold club Atlanta jacket mm. that I got myself. Treat yourself. Um, Judy, as I turn around and show the back, mm. what what would... Because you didn't know anything about the gold Nothing. club going in. I mean... You, now what do you think about the gold club? Well, I can smell it. What does it smell yeah. like? If you said it had to smell like two things, what would it be? Uh, cigarettes and taint. <laughs> I mean, I wish y'all had the this, smell-o-vision, because, oof. This jacket has seen some things. Yes. My gosh. Um, so we, uh, we're we rocking that. Also, we had a hand-delivered Casio's cut. Oh, yeah. And that was from our buddy Mike Dawkins, the gimmick attorney. And that is the... Oh, you going to help me? Yeah. I was going to go straight up and down, but you're going to help me. Oh, yeah, we got the Indianapolis Colts wrestling belt. Um, this is awesome. Dawkins has a matching one. This is incredible. Judy, I know you don't like wrestling belts. I've got the one just over your shoulder, which is the Brock Lesnar WWE belt. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think of this, though? It's something. I mean, it <laughs> it's something. Yep. It's heavy. It is heavy. High quality. Yeah, it's leather and <laughs> yeah. metal, and there's a lot of details. It's pretty cool. I mean, it looks super cool. You gotta admit, it looks cool. Yeah, yeah, it does. I mean, yeah. Where can I wear this, Judy? Uh, in the house. And where else? Um, at your mom's house. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and you're right. I probably wouldn't wear it to my dad's. He'd probably not. Uh, he might think it's cool. You never know. You never know. You never know with him. All right, so now we're going to get into your packages. If you want to be a, a part of the next P.O. Box episode, send whatever you want. Look, if you're out there and you got a small business, send your cheapest merchandise. It's a quick and easy plug. Yeah. T-shirts, uh, we'll take that. Hats, we'll take that. We'll take pants. I don't care, whatever. Yeah. You can send that. You can send something funny. You can send food. You can send something really? sad. Food. 
We've had Bean Boozled. We've oh, had yeah, bubble yeah. gum from Canada. We've Pre-packaged would be nice. I'm, I'd be afraid to eat something handmade. Yeah, no, no, no. No, no. Cook, no. cook stuff might not fare well. Mm. But you take a bag of chips from a foreign country. Yep, I'll do that. Or yeah. some ketchup chips. Ooh. Yeah, Canada. Aren't they, isn't that Canada? Yeah. I don't think they serve it here. We've had those, and we've had the candy that tastes like soap. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we've we've had some, uh, some oh, yeah. interesting stuff. Here. Oh, even like lick the devil's toe. Oh yeah, we still got the devil's toe. I mm-hmm. opened that. It's in the cabinet. <laughs> we need to do that. We've, <laughs> it's, uh, so we got a lot of stuff. We uh, we appreciate y'all. We've had roaches. Mm-hmm. We've had uh, what else can you remember? We've had books to read. Yeah, lots we've of had books. Candles. Uh, we've had VHSs. Poster, we've had wrestling yeah. figures. Posters. Yeah, we just done. We've had it all. We've had. Yeah. Little Bobble Debbies, head. bobbleheads. We've had all, have albums. We take we love yeah. vinyl. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we've had it all. We open it up. It's just your way of saying, "Hey, this is cool." Thinking of you guys. Thanks for the show, and we thank you guys for listening and for sending it in. That's what being a candy liquor is all about. Hunted. Let's open some gifts. Ooh, ooh, ooh. How about a card from? Says Jeff, Cassie on BBJ. We just got a letter. From Jeff We just Jewett. got a letter. We just got a letter. Wonder, Wonder who, who it's from. from. It's from <laughs> Doo Doo Trucking, Jeff Jewett. <laughs> Jeff Jewett. This is the best. I feel like from Vermont that it got stuck in the snow and it didn't get here in time for Christmas. Oh. This is going to be epic. Is it? If it's a March Christmas card. <laughs> It is. Oh, yes. Yes. Him and the wife and the dog from Doo Doo Trucking. Winkle. There's Winkle. Boom. We got a Merry Christmas. Wish you a happy and healthy holiday season. This guy here, uh, he <laughs> told me, and I went and checked it. It literally got here the day after we did the last unboxing. Oh, wow. That's awesome. I it's mean, it's been sitting there. It's been that long since we've done an unboxing. Wow. Look at that. That's got to be a Doug Holiday art because it's it awesome. Is. Yeah. So uh, that's killer. Doug Holiday does all the uh, logos you see on the Casio's Cut merchandise. Thank you, Doo Doo Trucking. Always a pleasure. I need to open one and you need to get opening one as well. Uh, so this one is shipped to Casio's Cut from What Did Tony Say? The Twitter account at What Did Tony Say? Great follow on Twitter. Yep. I'll, I'll cut okay. this. Okay. Well, Cuts I, like a knife. Well, I got this one. It's not from nobody. It's not <laughs> from nobody, she says. <laughs> and y'all wonder why I got her. She's all <laughs> mine, fellas. Wait, is it a package inside it's a, a package? It's pa- a package. And neither one of them so far has got a from? Nope. That ain't from not nobody. All right, I've got the uh, what did Tony say on Twitter package. Okay, here we go. Mine's open. You work on yours, okay? (laughs) This. This is great. What did Tony say? This is absolutely fantabulous. I'm going to show this to my boy. This is a CD, and it is Jeff the Drunk Takes Manhattan, which Jeff the Drunk is from Howard Stern. Big Shuley guy. Uh, Shuley and Jeff. I mean, Shuley has a Jeff the Drunk puppet at his house. Oh, wow. This is classic. What did Tony say? This is absolutely... Absolutely fantastic. He does. Jeff the Drunk does karaoke. Judy. Oh, man. We got to put that in the uh, CD Here's the best part. As of this second, my wife has no idea about Jeff the Drunk. uh, And especially doesn't know his karaoke. So imagine. So we've got classics like Taking Care of Business, Rock and Roll All Night, I Can't Get No Satisfaction, Always on My Mind, Born to Be Wild, Margaritaville. Mm. Those are some Um, hits. But he's, uh, if you've never heard Jeff the Drunk, let's out of the way, yeah, Margaritaville. 
Like, it's that. What? Him doing karaoke. Oh, man. So we... <laughs> <laughs> that is absolutely classic what did Tony say. I can't wait to show that to Shuley. He's going to absolutely love it as well. Wait, wait. Are you on your third package? Yes, it's a package in a package. Wait, wait. This one's got a, a person. Yes. This one's from... Relative ele Elation. Relative Elation. From Ohio. Finlay, Ohio. Wish it was Fit Finlay, Ohio. Tell me it's a fourth package. Now I just need it to be more packages. Is it more packages, boo? Oh, God. We have a package. You're literally on your third package. It's wrapped up good. It's wrapped up good. Please tell me it's another package. Is it? No! Oh, that's <laughs> another package! It is bubble wrap, so it's still wrapped more. This one for me, <laughs> package this is something tiny. All right, we got a note too. All right, this is good. All right, this is good. We got. What do we have? Anti-depression kits, COVID version. Inspiring, inspiring, fun gift to induce fun, novelty, uplifting, and kick out, kick 2020 out feelings. Oh, uplifting feelings. And kick 2020 out. And just mm -hmm. put a smile on your face. Woof. Now, Relative elevation. what is it from? I wonder if it's from them yes, or if it's from, from... It's from them. Or if somebody ordered it from their Etsy shop. Either way, thank you. What do we got? It's a little mask. Is it for your pencil? Anti-depression kit, number one. A penny. Read it, Judy. A penny so you'll never be broke. An eraser so you can start again. A marble for when you feel like you've lost yours. A rubber band to stretch yourself to the limits and a string to hold everything together. That's amazing. Look at the little mask. A little tiny mask. Hold the little tiny mask up to the... Uh, oh. <laughs> it doesn't even cover your nose. There's a few of these. Yeah, it's a little, little... You know what? That is absolutely awesome. Oh, that's cute. It's like... It's like something you drop off your neighbor's house. Like, you can't maybe not hang out with them, but you, like, put them in their mailbox. That's and so amazing. So you care, if, care so, about them. either way, uh, what is it? Relative elation? Super cool. If you didn't send it, thank you to ever send it. But if it was, it's super cool, and thank you. We will... I want to Those are it. definitely going to friends. Oh, yeah. It's going to our neighbor's. Neighbors? Yeah, neighbors, friends. Friends, family, the whole yeah. deal. We're going to... That's cute. Relative Elation Etsy shop. That is a super, super cool idea. Here's my favorite. You... Here's what I've noticed about the P.O. Box. And if you want to be a part of our next one, Casio's Cut, P.O. Box 19065, Huntsville, Alabama, 35804. You open... You like to open small to big. Yes. I like to vary them up, but I'm just watching you attack this right now. <laughs> you go small to big. I do. Uh, this one is to Casio. It does not have something. It's clearly from Amazon Prime because they're taking over the world. Is there a note? All right, here's your note. Oh. Booble. Booble. Booble keeps 100%. Nicely done, Booble. He's the P.O. Box MVP. Would you oh. agree? A hundred percent. Hang on. All right. Don't open that. Just hang on. It says, I love these as a kid. So many fond memories. Let's make them cool again. Mike Booble. No sell it. Entertainment. Check that out. And these are collect them all retro caps. Is this candy? Oh, 20 pogs. This is one of those where I'm kind of remembering it from my childhood, but I can't. You turned it... Here's my favorite. You, we are so jaded, you turned it away from you in case it shot <laughs> yes. something out. Oh, I had... Oh, the pogs. Here we go. Judy, they're basically just these little circles with pictures on them, and you collect them all. It's like a Pokemon. Oh, really? Oh, you and can play you get, games? Yeah, you get... Fa look, you get fancy ones with that are actually coins, and then the rest of them have... 
different uh, pictures on them. Oh, Look at that. That's strong. We hadn't seen the. I hadn't seen these in high school, maybe for sure, junior high. So, Boo Boo, if you're sending them, you got to be close to mine. Oh, we got to play this with Elise. <laughs> Elise is my niece. Yeah, this was that was a money grabber as a kid. Let me tell you what I spent my money on as a kid. I definitely had those. Um, I had a run. I used to collect baseball cards. I had mm -hmm. like 700,000 baseball cards. Um, tons. Had a whole room full of baseball cards. Um, okay, you drinking? What was that? Tom, your tits. And have a oh, beer. Oh, little Tammy. Well, this is Trail seltzer. Trash Tammy. Mm -hmm. I went and saw her at a blast. Mm -hmm. Hopefully she'll be on the pod soon. Uh, I had those. I had. I bought those and I bought uh, baseball cards. I had Garbage Pail Kids cards. I had Batman cards. Let me tell you. Batman the movie cards were fire. They came mm -hmm. and went fast, but I collected the hell out of those. Hmm. Batman cards. <laughs> like what Batman? It. Like the... It was the one with Jack Nicholson as oh. the Joker. And, and they made a card. They made collected collector's cards. Who is the Batman? That was Michael Keaton. Oh. Fantastic movie. And they made cards right when I was in the height of collecting. So I had all those. <laughs> and they're all worth, like, together, the 700,000 baseball cards, the Pogs, uh, Batman cards, Garbage Pail. Together, they're about 27 cents. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> They've declined in value. Wow. Because uh, it was all a racket. But it was fun while we did it. Mm -hmm. It was fun. All right, we got three boxes left. What are you going with? This one. This one. You need a knife. All right. Be sure you follow us on social media at Casio's Cut is the podcast. That's Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, uh, that jazz. Uh, you can follow us on um, it's also Casio's Cut on Twitch which we're going to be really taking off. We started that. We got you guys involved. Holidays hit. I apologize. We slowed down. We had a, uh, as you saw in one of our P.O. Box episodes, we had a um, a squatter living with us for a while, Alfred. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so it slowed down my Twitch. We will get back on that. Cassio's cut. Uh, we got a lot of things in store uh, for that, including... I think I'll be on with Ron Funches this month. Woo! On his Twitch. Uh, positive affirmations. No. No? Uh, I think it's his podcast, Get High and Watch Wrestling. Oh, never mind. It's on his Twitch. Well, still... It's the alter ego for, get, for positive affirmations. Yeah. Check out Ron Funches. He's, yeah, no. He's, everything he does great. is absolutely brilliant. What do you got over there? Okay. Oh, it's our dudes. Yes, it's our dudes. So, um, if you've got a beard, or you know somebody with a beard... Mm -hmm. Anyone watching can get 10% off using JC9510 at checkout. Oh, so, okay. So, we got to explain. This is Furry Hippie Beard Company. Furry Hippie Beard Company. Great logo, Furry Hippie. Oh, yeah. Uh, Furry Hippie Beard Company. And uh, JC9510 is uh, the web... is. Morning show, Jim and Cassio. Yep. Every um, purchase, a percentage goes to fund the battle against pediatric cancer. Yes. So his products are awesome. Whoa, look at that. Um, all the smell goods, like essential oils to put in your beard, beer butter. They sell beard oil. Look at that. It's like a wooden comb Ooh. decoration. I mean, I'm going to... My beard's so good, I can use it for mine. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've tried their oils uh, before. Did he sent the butter this time? Yes, this is... Old man's money. Beard butter. Smell it. Smell it, Judy. Okay. Smell it, Judy. Old man's money. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Oh, you went for a double smell. Oh, yeah. Huh? Triple. You about to slide <laughs> out of the seat. Hang on now. It's good. It's very, uh, like... Comforting, like check them out at Furry Hippie Beard Company. Just Google that. I know they're on Facebook, I know they got the website. 
uh, sent a t-shirt. Thank you, buddy. Uh, absolutely great product. Uh, not a paid endorsement. I just use it. Uh, so that's awesome. And yep. uh, read it again, uh, Judy. So, JC9510 uh, at checkout. Yeah, go check out if you want to buy it. That's that's super cool of him uh, to take care of everybody watching and listening. If you got uh, facial hair, it is the jam. They got oils if you prefer the butter. Yep. Here's the deal. I've only tried the oil, but I'm a butter guy. Mm -hmm. And boom, he sent the beard butter. Awesome. So he's a local guy in Huntsville. It's Huntsville, but... I'm sure he ships... Oh, yeah, he'll ship it anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right. Read those. Read those. He's got awesome names for his uh, oils and butters. Okay, old man's money. That's what we just got yeah. there. Twigs and berries. <laughs> nice. Uh, Groovy Grove. Uh, natural. Yep. Hippie Mojo and mm -hmm. Wicked Grind. Wicked Grind. Nicely done. And like you said, uh, Judy, a percentage of every order goes to help fund research in the battle against pediatric cancer um so feel free to check them out they're on facebook furry hippie beard company twitter furry hippie bc and instagram underscore between all these words you ready furry underscore hippie underscore beard underscore company incredible i, I love these can't wait to try the butter thank you dude that is absolutely Thanks. awesome We'll be getting the beard looking right and luscious. 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 Um, all right, we got two more, Judy. You do the, you are, right, you pick this one over here. All right, we're going to get, where's that knife? All right, this one is from Adam Hunter from my original hometown, Gadsden, Alabama. Um, if you are a side watcher viewer, uh, of our top free shows podcast that I host, and that is the Sad News Bears on ad free shows. If you're a top guy, top gal, and you're a subscriber for that, uh, you can watch me and a couple buddies uh, get together every single week and uh, talk about wrestling or just talk about anything really that's going on in life. And Adam, he rose to fame, Judy, because Did he? he listened to the old episodes of Sad News Bears and remembered. That Pondwater Dave bet our fun Pondwater Dave from Mississippi. Yep, I know Super Dave. Pondwater Dave bet us that Cam Newton with the Patriots would win more games than Tom Brady with the Buccaneers. And then if he didn't, which he didn't. He Tom bet Brady against to Tom Brady? Yes, he bet against Tom Brady. And as his punishment, this is all his own idea. He would dress like a girl in makeup, which you've seen the pictures. Yeah. Uh, but we, I mean, you know, we, we did that so long ago that we kind of forgot about it. And Adam had just become a top guy, so he was catching up on sad news, caught it right when the Super Bowl reminded us of it. And so we had a great episode of Pondwater Dave dressing in a dress. <laughs> um, Pondwater, uh, by the way, Adam, never met Adam. Thank you, Adam. Has a, a, he works at an re awesome, famous restaurant uh, that is in my hometown, Gadsden. It's called Beans and Greens. Beans and Greens. Yeah, and if you don't think that's country good, mm. you're wrong. Mm. Uh, he sent a note. What would he say, Judy? Hope you enjoy these figures, brother. If you, re if you will, just give a shout out to me and all the Top Guys family. Top Guy family on ad free shows. Okay, good. Boom. Did that before I even saw oh, the note. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's one of the great top guys. Whoa. Judy, you don't even know. I mean, I know Braves. Oh, these are classic. These are... Oh, I forgot people were listening. <laughs> um, <laughs> these are the OG starting lineup baseball figures you know i'm a diehard braves fan yeah we just showed you i'm a diehard colts fan uh diehard braves fan so judy back in the day these were the, you know you get these and put them on yeah. your desk i've got a few of these at the studio mm -hmm. um but i don't have any braves uh, -huh. uh so cool. oh sh adam these are the og years too 
Wow. This was 1988, Moo. Wow, that's when I was born. <laughs> <laughs> this toy is... This is as old as you are. Wow, it looks awesome. All right, so uh, for those that are listening, and I'll show, I'll throw them up. We've got a 1988 Dale Murphy Atlanta Braves starting lineup and 1992 Steve Avery Atlanta Braves starting lineup. Dude, uh, those are super, super cool. Wow. Super cool. Still in the box, packaged. I wish I could be like a kid and open them up. I'd set them up. But I'm going to set them on a shelf. I mean, these are unopened. That's oh, yeah. incredible. You put them on the wall. This is old as you, boo. Yeah, I know. That's crazy. This is a unopened version of you. Wow. This is 92. Untouched. How old are you? <laughs> An untouched version of you. <laughs> this is how I found you. <laughs> I found you in 2000. Mint condition. Mint condition. <laughs> uh, this one, I know why you saved it because you yeah. love this guy. Yeah. Be Creative Dad. Uh, he's got his own Etsy store. Now, if you're a fan of the P.O. Box episodes, you know that our dude Brent, Be Creative Dad on Etsy, uh, he sent us the uh, National Lampoon's cap. Yep. Uh, he sent us the Little Debbie Christmas wreaths. Christmas wreath as well. Um, he's super creative, has incredible stuff, uh, and now he sent us another one. Uh, he makes a wreath for almost every season. You could... No, he's got Halloween wreaths, Christmas wreaths. Go to his Etsy shop, the letter B, Creative Dad, and uh, he's got incredible stuff. He can make you the same stuff that you see here. He sent the I mean, every time we put the National Lampoon's cat up, somebody mentions it. Oh, yeah. It's a, it looks like the cat that got fried in the Christmas tree. It's incredible. He's got all kind of other stuff. Please don't get those packing peanuts <laughs> everywhere. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It looks like we got an art frame, Judy. Yes, yes. All right, let me get this out of the way. Oh, gosh. What do we got, Judith? It looks we like got a your letter. own game oh. console. <laughs> oh, wait, I forgot. He made... Wait, wait, wait. We got to get this. Oh, there's also LED. Yeah, this is going to go incredible oh, with that. there's a battery in there. Should be a battery fit, um, in there. So Be Creative Dad also made the Casio Vinyl Pop figure. Um, incredible with its own box. And uh, even drew the other figures on the back. Big Booty Judy, Conrad Thompson, David Lynham, Doug Markham, and Dave Silva. Uh, which we're going to... we got to commission him to do those at some point. Oh, yeah. Uh, but now, Judy, you're saying he sent an own video game. Mm-hmm. Here, let me get it. Judy, look what he sent. Look, I just mentioned this. What? Huh? What? It's a Garbage Bell Kid card. That's incredible. Graffiti Petey and Tooting Titus. Tooting Titus? He toots out of his eyes, boo. <laughs> oh Graffiti Petey, oh. <laughs> that is uh, pretty incredible. Be Creative Dad on Etsy. It's etsy.com slash B, the letter B, Creative Dad Casio. Hell of a job you've been doing lately. The pot apps are strong, so keep up the intensity. This go round, I've made you something special. Inside this light up shadow box is the only. Oh, you turned it on. It did. Is the only copy ever of Super Casio Brothers for the <laughs> classic NES system. <laughs> I created the art on the box and label, obviously inspired by Mario Brothers. But here, Super Casio is seen jumping over mashed potatoes in his retro Jordans. Holding a fork. Also, there's a drumstick that's being hurled at him. I have a couple of different games and boxes I'm listing on my Etsy store for sale oh, soon. Cool. Give me that plug. Dude, consider it done. Thank that's you for doing your amazing. thing. Look. Brent Hobbs. That's from Be Creative this Dad. This is a mashed potato with butter I, I and gravy. I haven't even looked at it yet. A drumstick and there's a microphone up here. Of course, the classic brick. 
Yeah, but look, yeah, it's even on the game. Look, yes. drumstick. Uh, is be jumping over the mashed potatoes with a fork, and there's my beard. Eight bit. He's got. Look, it's weathered. Looks like it's the old NES. Yes. That is absolutely incredible. That uh, will go on the wall behind us, of course. That's so uh, cool. absolutely uh, incredible. I'm speechless. That's awesome. I'm speechless. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to hold it up a little bit closer to, uh, uh, for everybody watching on YouTube, go to Casio's Cut. Please hit the subscribe and like button so you can see this up close. Pretendo. Do you see that? Pretendo. Pretendo <laughs> Entertainment System. Super Casio's Bros. Not only does it have the uh, case, that it would, the box that it would come in, but the actual Nintendo Game, yeah. cartridge. That's awesome. That's incredible. Too From cool. the podcast series, it says. <laughs> Light up. You see the lights on the back. That's absolutely incredible. Oh, you can yeah. get different games, uh, he said. Go check out. I know he's on Instagram. Uh, Be Creative Dad and the whole deal. Dude, that is... Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. That's absolutely insane. Uh, what a perfect gift to go out on. I mean, I thought I was styling with my gold club jacket. And my Indianapolis Colts belt, uh, Judy. It's something. It's something. You are something. But now I've got Atlanta Braves starting lineup. I've got the Pogs are coming back. I've got my own video game now. I mean. You've made it. <laughs> I am in nerd heaven. Is there more of a nerd than me right now? Nope. I'm on top of Nerd Kingdom <laughs> with all my own vinyl pops. Uh, I I haven't had somebody send me beard butter this time. Oh, Curry gosh. hippie beard butter. It, wow. It's been an incredible run tonight. Yeah, it's been awesome. You didn't get anything. I got your enjoyment. You're, <laughs> you're happy and I'm happy. You do love the smell of that beard butter. I do. That's awesome. So that's a win. Mm -hmm. I put that in. Judy all of a sudden kisses me a little bit more. So that's a win from Furry Hippie Beard Company. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We got incredible stuff this time. I can't even, What we got? So we got the starting lineup, mm -hmm. Atlanta Braves. Thank you, Adam Hunter. Thank you to Brent Hobbs, Etsy Shop, Be Creative Dad. We got uh, Mike Dawkins with the Colts belt. We got Booble still batting a thousand. Yeah, Boo, every single PO Box episode, mm -hmm. Mike Booble up there in Oregon has uh, sent us something. Uh, what else do we have? We oh, we have the uh, incredible Jeff the Drunk oh, album. Yeah. We gotta Can't to that. wait to show Shuley as he sings karaoke. And uh, another Etsy shop. We got uh, relaxation. No, relative elation. Relative elation. Thank you for correcting me. With their awesome, awesome um, anti-depression kits. I say order these. These are amazing. I can't wait to drop oh, yeah, these just off to so, friends and family. So cute. These are going to your parents. These are going oh, to yeah. my parents. These are going to me malls. Oh, yeah. This is going to be incredible. Stocking stuffers. Um, and also, with the last-minute edition, came in just one day late. <laughs> The doo doo truck and Christmas card <laughs> that got slung in this episode. This happens when you live in Vermont. <laughs> yeah, everything's a little bit slower <laughs> when you have to deliver everything in a truck full of doo doo. <laughs> uh, thanks, everybody. Uh, follow us on social media Cassio's Cut. A personal account is at the Cassio Kid. Hers Twitter is at NotoriousBBJ uh, for Big Booty Judy there. Thank you for joining me again. Uh, and if you want to be a part of our next episode, send anything you want. Send cool stuff, funny stuff, sad stuff. Sad stuff. Yeah. Whatever you sure, want. Sure, why not? It's all open. That's the beauty. Mm -hmm. I open them live. I don't know what it is until we open them live right here on this episode. So if you want to be a part of it, Casio's Cut, P.O. Box 19065, Huntsville, Alabama, 35804. Stuff my box adios bachachos <laughs> are you about to sneeze no i looked at you about to sneeze <laughs> what? no i'm yeah. talking about <laughs>
Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.